When an earthquake strikes, the ground starts shaking in many different ways. The houses that are not sturdy enough make collapse, causing great losses. I am Architect Kiki. Do you know how to build houses at different locations? This is a seismic hazard map. The colors and numbers marked on the map indicates different levels of earthquake resistance required in house building. Wherever it is, houses should be sturdy. Can you place the buildings at the matching zones of seismic fortification intensity? That's not correct. Think it. Level 9 fortification zone. Level 8 fortification zone. Level 7 fortification zone. Level 6 Fortification Zone. Now let's build the sturdy houses to stay safe even when earthquake strikes. Villa. Let's build the brick wall first. Cement. <laughs> Bind the rebar columns with rebar rings. Fix it in place with steel wire. Fix the mold. Fill the steel reinforcement cage with concrete to make a sturdy constructional column. The steel reinforcement cage of the beam and the steel reinforcement cage of the column must be connected when building each floor. Next, pour in the concrete to make a sturdy ring beam constructional column. Thus, the houses are sturdier and more earthquake resistant. Pick a roof you like! Then pick the color to paint the wall. The villa is built! Great job! Buildings with ring beam structural columns and buildings without ring beam structural columns will act differently in an earthquake. Slide the button to check it out! Small earthquake Stay intact in a small earthquake Medium earthquake Repairable damages in medium earthquake. 
big earthquake. Won't collapse in a big earthquake. Great job! Wow! The earthquake resistant building you built is so sturdy! Amazing! Keep going! Thank <laughs> you.